Di quattro Alice Cooper pronti a spingere più in là i confini dell'Ivy Metal. E se questi quattro tizi avessero reso il metal molto remunerativo? Nobody knew what they looked like. That might seem trivial, but it wasn't. You didn't know whether underneath Gene's makeup he was like a murderer. You didn't know. What do you represent? Destruction. <laughs> Destruction. Yeah, rock and roll. Just uh, power, energy. Yeah. And it really was like real living superheroes. That's how I got into Kiss, was because they had their own comic printed in their own blood. I was like, off they do. What? It's a big spectacle, right? What is most important to you, the spectacle or the music? The audience. The audience. And then to see them on stage breathing fire and spitting blood, believe me, at the age of 11, that <laughs> that's pretty cool. Historically, people will not remember the music of KISS. What they will remember is the idea of KISS. People are fascinated with Gene spitting blood. People are fascinated with my guitars exploding and rockets going off and, you know, it's larger than life. It's showbiz. Some people are hams. I'm the whole pig. I wanted to come out on stage and just take over. Look at me, I'll take my shirt off, I'll shake my ass, whatever it takes. Here from KISS is Gene Simmons. It was always about entertainment and about impact. Are you a bat? Actually, what I am is evil incarnate. Each of us created our, our own personas. I became the demon. Uh, Paul wanted to become the rock star. That's what he always felt like. And Peter had a fascination with cats. And Ace, of course, is from another planet. In the early days, when we would go on stage, there would be people hysterical laughing at us. You know, and the great feeling was, I'm looking at them thinking, You won't be laughing when this is over. Come on and clap your hands! And that's what rock and roll is all about, come on! But Kiss Ma il fenomeno metal dei Kiss non attecchì. Nel 75 avevano fatto numerosi tour che però non si erano tradotti in massicce vendite di dischi. Poiché temevano di perdere il loro contratto discografico, presero una decisione azzardata. Incisero il primo album metal dal vivo. The beauty of it is you feel like you're at a concert and the bombs going off from the opening intro to the last bomb, you can almost get feel like you get contact high listening to that record. A live vendette più di 4 milioni di copie e rese i componenti della band delle superstar. Ma per i fan del metal fu soprattutto un modo di vivere i loro concerti in solitudine. People are always ask me, what's the best concert you ever saw? And I always say, are you counting Kiss concerts? Because the 13 best shows I've ever seen are 12 Kiss shows and one Prince show. Everything with Kiss is bigger, better, louder, more. Everything we take to the max. A wall of amps, you know, I mean, just powerhouse, God of Thunder, Gene Simmons flying. It's amazing. Oh, my God. You, and then he, the blood in, he explodes the fire, and Gene Simmons. I want to fly to the ceiling. I want to blow fire. I want to spit blood in your face. I got on the yellow brick road, and I went down the wormhole, and I've never returned since. deluded ourselves with anything except the following. It's our job to make a complete spectacle out of ourselves, period. Stand guilty as charged of the harshest criticism. Ah, those guys make a complete spectacle out of themselves. You're damn right we do. We're serious about making sure our fans get their money's worth. Nel 76 all'album Alive seguì Destroyer, che ottenne il disco di platino. L'anno seguente un sondaggio della Gallup confermò che i Kiss erano la band più popolare d'America. Come on, you've been waiting in line. For about 13 hours now. The line stretched around the sports arena. The numbers into the thousands. 
I fan dei Kiss erano numerosissimi, con un appetito insaziabile per qualsiasi cosa fosse della band. E scoprirono un territorio che i Sabbath, gli Zeppelin e Alice Cooper non avevano esplorato, quello dei gadget. This is Kiss, each sold separately. T-shirts, posters, if they made it, I bought it. Put them in any crazy pose you want. A Bobby doll, <laughs> a, a sleepy bag, a lunchbox. I mean, after I go to the office next, I'd see some of this stuff, I go, no, you're not going to put that out. They go, oh yeah, this is going out. Kiss, each 12 and a half inch figure sold separately by Mego. You know, when we started with merchandise, it was considered very uncool. Merchandise to us is something that goes hand in hand with rock and roll. I read once where someone said how most bands want to be the Beatles and Kiss wanted to be Coca-Cola. And that's completely true. The Kiss Radio. 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 Kiss has never really ever had an agenda besides capitalism. So call or send your money now. Here's how to get your Kiss Radio. And that did transfer over to, I think, a lot of the bands in the 1980s, especially among the Sunset Strip bands in L.A. There was a very conscious understanding that you're not successful when your record is good. You're successful when everybody has your record. I soli gadget avevano reso i Kiss milionari. A una metal band non era concesso essere anche un marchio di fabbrica. Poiché la loro credibilità vacillava, i Kiss passarono a un nuovo progetto. Wonder who could have done it. Good question, Catman. What do you compute, Space Ace? Insufficient data at the moment, Star Child. We'd better look into it. Kiss Meets the Phantom started with a great idea. Let's make a movie that crosses Star Wars and A Hard Day's Night. Conceptually, it sounds great. When you realize that there was a script and there were lines to memorize and none of us had the slightest clue as to what it took to act. The whole project turned into a, a debacle. I mean, it was just a disaster. We've got to find Devereaux. That school with me, Star Child. I'm down to my last few lives. I remember being at the screening of it, and by the end of it, I was so low in my chair that I wanted to, like, crawl out of the theater. There was such an uprising in the underground metal community. I was offended. I wasn't just disappointed, I was personally offended. If I hear you calling... I would get punched out by Led Zeppelin fans that hated Kiss. He sucks, you know, and I would get beat up for liking that band. It was getting too light, it was getting too poppy. We were getting too, you know, it was just, we were losing our edge, man. What can I do? It's not often you see a little guy with a guitar and shorts running around in the audience. The great thing about Angus Young, this whole schoolboy shtick, he represents this eternal youth in all of us. Oh. 